assalamu alaikum the topic of this uh, lecture is nutrition and digestive system of birds the name of this course is animal diversity 2 main teacher of this course is sir umar rashid and i am co teacher of this course miss iram bukhari uh, lecturer zoology university of education bangalore campus lahore nutrition in birds uh, actually the all birds are need food water and shelter but they all have different food needs for a look of different types of birds beak uh, i also show the different beaks of the bird in this lecture other factors that determine a bird's diet include flight habits sight and hearing for example uh, the birds like the swallow that feed while flying rely mostly on the insects for food so most birds have a ravenous appetite ravenous appetite means that it implies the extreme hunger this appetite supports a high metabolic rate that makes endothermy and flight possible you all know what is endothermy endothermy uh, actually allows the birds uh, to maintain a high relative constant body temperature by means of internal heat production over a wide range of environmental temperature the primary reason of endothermy in the birds is that uh, uh, it allows an animal to maintain high activity uh, uh, high activity level at all the times so uh, for example the humming birds feed mostly uh, uh, feed almost constantly during the day in spite of a high rate of food consumption they often cannot sustain for the rapid metabolism overnight and they may become torpid with reduced body temperature and respiratory rate until they can feed again in the morning torpid uh, is actually uh, is a state of decreased physiological activity in an animal usually by a reduced body temperature and metabolic rate animal that undergo daily torpor includes uh, usually the birds in this uh, picture you see that uh, this is the bird flight and feeding adaptation and this is the ruby throated humming bird uh, which hovers while feeding on flower nectar humming bird beaks often match the length and curvature of the flower from which the bird extract nectar so bird bills and tongues are modified for a variety of feeding habits for the food in this slide uh, you all see that this is the beak of the bald eagle and in this slide uh, you see the bill of a powerful bill of the cardinal in the first this is the beak of the bald eagle in uh, which is a uh, specialized for tearing the prey and in the second slide you will see uh, the bill of a powerful cardinal the, which is uh, which help them to crack the tough seeds in the third diagram you see that this is the picture of the uh, this is the bill of the flamingo and a uh, flamingo uh, it really th this the bill helps the flamingo to strain the food from the water in a head down feeding posture large bristles fringe the upper and lower mandibles as water is sucked into the bill of the flamingo larger particles are filtered and left outside inside the bill tiny inner bristles filter smaller algae and animals and the tongue of the flamingo removes food from the bristles for example uh, this is uh, the picture of a woodpecker and this is the woodpecker's tongue is barbed for extracting grubs from the bark of trees sap suckers sap suckers uh, actually sap suckers are the species of the wood woodpeckers uh, which are present in north america and uh, sap suckers excavate holes in trees and use a brush like tongue for licking the sap that accumulates in these holes excavate excavate means to make uh, to make a hollow or to make a hollow or cavity in the inner part of the sand from where the birds get the get their food the tongues of humming birds and other nectar feeders roll into a tube for extracting nectars from flowers 
birds are often grouped by their feeding habits these groups are somewhat artificial however because birds may eat different kinds of food at different stages in their life history or they may change diets simply because of changes in the food availability for example this is the picture of the robin bird it feed largely on worms and other invertebrates when these foods are available in the winter however robins may feed on berries in some of their feeding habits birds directly conflict with the human interest birds uh, these uh, uh, robin birds damage to orchard and grain crops is tailed in the millions of dollars each year feeding uh, sorry flocking and the roosting habit flocking and the roosting habit flocking actually is the phenomena that individuals all move with approximately the same velocity so that they remain together as group and the roosting uh, phenomena is the phenomenon in which the several species of birds are commonly referred to as uh, to as roosting birds uh, because of these birds flock together during fall winter and early spring often forming a huge roots in the urban areas uh, when a bird chooses a roosting site a place to sleep and rest with care the roosting site can mean the difference between the life and death on a cold winter night so the flocking and roosting habits of some birds such as european startlings and red winged birds concentrate millions of birds in local habitats where they devastate field uh, of grain recent monoculture uh, cultural practices tend to aggravate problems with grain feeding birds by encouraging the formation of very large flocks birds of prey have minimal impact on populations of poultry and game birds and on commercial fishes unfortunately the mistaken impression that they are responsible for significant losses has led humans to poison and shoot them digestive system of birds first of all is crop in many birds the diverticulum of the esophagus called the crop and it is a storage structure that allows birds to quickly ingest large quantities of locally abundant food they can then seek safely when um, uh, digest while digesting while digesting their meal the crop of uh, pigeons produce pigeons milk a cheesy secretion formed by the proliferation of cells lining the crop young pigeons which are also known as the squabs feed on pigeons milk until they are able to eat grain cedar wax wings vultures and birds of prey use their esophagus for similar storage functions crops are less well developed in insect eating birds because insectivorous birds feed throughout the day on sparsely distributed food stomach of the birds uh, the stomach of the birds is modified into two regions first is the proventriculus and second is the ventriculus which is also called the gizzard proventriculus the proventriculus secretes gastric juices that initiate digestion and the ventriculus uh, uh, the ventriculus ventriculus is which is known as the gizzard has a muscular wall to abrade and crush seeds or other hard materials birds may swallow sand and other abrasives to aid the digestion abrasive means uh, it is uh, capable of grinding this is the digestive system of the birds this is the picture of the digestive tract of birds in which you see that first is esophagus crop proventriculus is present ventriculus or gizzard is present duodenal loop duodenum is present pancreas liver spleen gall bladder uh, uh, large intestine cloaca caeca uh, or the small intestine the bulk of enzymatic digestion and absorption occurs in the small intestine which is aided by the secretions from the pancreas and liver paired caeca may be located at the union of the large and the small intestine these blind ending sacs contain bacteria that aid in the cellulose digestion 
birds usually eliminate undigested food through the cloaca however owls form a pellets of bone fur and feathers that are ejected from the ventricles through the mouth owl pellets accumulate in and around owl's nest and are useful in studying their food habits thank you so much